quite a few of you tuned in to the last video which was about Rafa Benitez's contract um, or the lack of contract offer which you know Newcastle have had this international break to get sorted if they wanted really they could have pushed on and you know got Rafa um, into a good position um, okay maybe not announce it but you know put some terms on the table and you know get you know Rafa in a position where he's ready to sign obviously that hasn't happened had a quite a you know reasonable period of time to do it when a lot of the players were away there was definitely an opportunity there obviously we've seen Rafa put out an Instagram saying he was you know taking um, you know a break a day off uh, to get ready for the next game renewed energy all that completely right from his point of view um, but from Newcastle's they need really to start moving on this now uh, obviously Man United Ole Gunnar Solskjaer signed a three-year contract today uh, that you know should have should at least be a few reminders for Newcastle's um, you know powers at B to get this sorted now for Rafa sadly they haven't um, you know you look at the situation really He's got a press conference tomorrow. He's inevitably going to be asked um, lots of questions about this. Um, we, you know, we do know there was an offer um, in the background. Things have been touched upon, um, but in terms of, you know, really getting to the nitty gritty of things, Newcastle just keep to, seem going round, round, round in circles. Uh, done a Q and A as well yesterday on the Chronicle website. Big question uh, was how much is Rafa going to get to spend? Um, obviously the article went on the website before and a few, I think a few people either didn't click on it properly or didn't read it properly they read it as Rafa was going to get 100 million to spend that's not what was said what was said was he needs uh, for, for me he needs at least 100 million to spend we've seen the prices of the strikers that are getting bandied around at the moment 40, 50 millions here Joel Linton obviously they seem to be uh, prepared to do a deal on that one um, maybe they're attracted by the sell-on value I don't know um, but they seem to be prepared to do a deal on that one but for some reason uh, everyone hasn't agreed to that um, it doesn't look like the scouts feel he's worth it but that's the type of money you are looking at um, to pay for a striker now uh, so you know that could only be a couple of players really 100 million it's nothing uh, so I, I don't quite understand um, why people think it should be such a big deal for Rafa to get 100 million um, to build a you know to build a proper team you need 200 300 million so Rafa will be looking for tweaks really to um, you know get that to get that team in a position where they can challenge for the top eight um, so you know he's looking at for a start he's looking at a striker because Rodon you know may not be here. Um, Dwight Gale could come back that's that's one option but we'll have to wait and see um, is he going to be Premier League quality um, go to challenge for the top 8 it's another big question um, didn't have a great season last year in the Premier League um, so really Newcastle you know they need another striker you probably need another winger um, the goalkeeping situation is a bit of a mess as well um, three players in, in limbo really um, in Elliot, Darlow and Woodman so you could see another goalkeeper that's going to come in um, so lots to do, lots for Newcastle to really sort out and you know as far as the club are concerned if Rafa walks they're going to have a big big problem at the end of the season because the fans aren't going to be happy at all um, I think they should know